The symptoms are treated like any other respiratory illness. We do supportive care, try to manage fevers, aches and chills with Tylenol, anti-inflammatories, although there's some speculation as to whether those are great. We're not telling people not to use them, but we're encouraging Tylenol first. And then respiratory symptoms, um, Mucinex or Sudafed or decongestants and expectorants, trying to help people just get through the respiratory symptoms. And then cough suppressants, over-the-counter good old cough drops, that helps as well. The entire goal of the virtual hospital is to keep folks who have coronavirus, COVID-19 positive, in their homes and cared for without coming into any kind of medical facility so not to make other folks sick. Basically, once you test positive, you get a call every day by somebody on these teams to make sure you're doing okay. We even give folks who are sick a kit to take home where they check their blood pressure, their temperature, their, their pulse ox to make sure they're not getting worse. And if folks are getting worse, we have the ability to escalate, get a medic to their home and get them transported if they need to be hospitalized. It really had a huge impact, and so I've had firsthand been able to experience not only the symptoms from her perspective, but also her interaction with our virtual hospital, which has been really cool to see it from both sides. She's had a fairly mild illness. She hasn't felt great for the last 10 to 12 days, but she's better. We are practicing social distancing, but I want us to be careful not to practice social isolation. This is a very stressful situation. And just yesterday, I was in my office and I had multiple phone visits with folks who are just freaking out, for lack of a better term. There are therapies, there are counselors that we can talk to virtually. We have this with our own virtual behavioral health. So my encouragement to you, don't lose track and don't lose touch with the people who are your social support.